Hi guys, it's Amanda. So today I'm going to do kind of a follow along video. It's the first time I've ever done one of these. Um, I wanted to kind of chat with you guys about things that have been going on. And I figured that um, I have to do my makeup this morning anyway, so maybe I would just film it. So let me know what you think of these kinds of videos. Uh, right now all I have on is foundation. Um, I did not sleep well, so you can tell I have some dark circles and all that fun stuff. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get to it. And I'll try to tell you what I'm using along the way. Right now I'm getting ready to put on Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Sin. And if I'm looking over here, that's because that's where my mirror is. I just jumped out of the shower, so I've just tied my hair up really quick. Um, just so I can throw some makeup on. <laughs> um... I know that most people really don't like it when you pull on your lids and I try pretty often not to however um, it's something I've done always <laughs> when I work on my eyes so if it's not something you already do don't start but um, it's a habit I'm trying to kick but if you notice me kind of pull my eyelids taut when I'm doing my liners and stuff like that, um, that's why. Not a good thing, just something I happen to do. Oh, um, I'm wearing my NARS Sheer Glow today. Sorry, it's really dirty. Um, I think that's all I have on other than I put a little bit of powder and this is Rock and Republic in satin. It is um, discontinued. They don't really carry this brand anywhere. Other than Outlook, I've seen every once in a while, but it's been a while since I've seen them. So, um, if you can find it, I think on eBay and stuff like that, then that's good. And also, one of the first things I do is put on my Lip Fusion XL. I put that on um, as soon as I'm putting my foundation on just to let it sink into my lips. It really helps um, to, it's supposed to plump up your lips and I really do think it helps, but it really, really hydrates my lips too, so I love that. So anyway, I'm going to go on to my shadow and I guess I'll just show you guys what I've been using lately. Sorry if my voice is kind of squeaky, but um, I'm going to try to get through this. Um, Recently, I picked up an Armani Eyes to Kill. Yeah, you guys can see this. And it is in number 8. I picked this up off of a blog sale that one of my subscribers was having. And I posted a link to that on my um, Facebook page for YouTube. So, um, make sure you subscribe there because I post a lot of stuff there. That is what it looks like. I really have been enjoying it. Um, and using it pretty much every day because it's super easy. I just use my finger and then I get a pretty fair amount on and again you're going to see me tug on my eyelid. Not a good thing but uh, like I said trying to stop <laughs> is hard. So I just kind of pat it on and smooth it out just like that, really simple. Hopefully you can tell the difference. Um, and this is just a nice everyday eye look that I've been doing with this lately. Um, where I will just pat this on. And if there's a little fallout, you know, just brush it away. And I go up into the crease area and then I soften it out at the edges towards the brow. And if I have any extra, I just go back on the lid and kind of pack it on there. So it's, I, I think that these shadows really aren't meant to be super neat looking. And that's kind of what you get. And that's kind of why I like having this pretty champagne color because it blends really nicely. It lasts forever. Um, and it's super easy to put on. Sorry, I'm trying to get my hair out of the way. I have to do my hair later. Um, and then after that, if I'm in a hurry, like I kind of am today, I'm just going to take a crease color, and I have Urban Decay's Shakedown, which you can see is just a matte brown, like this. And I will take just a crease brush, which, hmm, I'm not finding the one I want. 
I have moved so many of my brushes around lately. You know what? I'm going to use this one. Here's my um, Rockin' Republic 204. It's a crease brush. Any crease brush will do. I also have, you know, I have a lot of backup brushes too. Like this one's from e.l.f. I think it's like a dollar or two dollars. It would work too. It's just a little bit fatter. Um, and I keep a lot of those around because sometimes, you know, my nicer brushes get dirty and I haven't had a chance to clean them. It's always nice to have the inexpensive backup brushes too. So I just take a little bit, tap it out, and then go in really, really quick and easy. I just kind of go in at the corner here and then bring it through the crease. Just for a little definition. And um, it's funny because, you know, everything on your body that you have two of, one is always better or in this case, easier, <laughs> and this eye is nearly always easier for me. And then, like I said, I'm just kind of doing a quick application, so other than applying the color, I'm just blending it out a little bit with my finger. And this is, this is good mommy makeup. So you can see the difference that made? Just doing a little bit in the crease. Um, I call it good mommy makeup because you can do it rather quickly. So, um, if my son is running around me, which normally he is, um, I can get this done <laughs> and still kind of pay attention to what he's doing. feel like I have something on. And... Sorry, I'm trying to make this so that you can see too. Alright, I'm not going to talk so much about the products anymore. I'll just show you, I guess, and just kind of tell you a little bit about what's been going on. Um, so, it's February now, and I think my last video that I managed to get up was um, my January giveaway um, video. Uh, I did do the announcement video after that too, but... Um, it's been kind of a whirlwind. You know how you get those weeks where things just is like one after another. It's kind of been that way for me. Um, a lot lately. See, so you can kind of... Um, that's kind of what it looks like. And then, um... I'm totally going to get sidetracked. I can see it happening already. <laughs> I'm trying to like tell you guys what's going on in my life and talk about makeup at the same time. So... I'm sorry if this is a little bit all over the place. Um, I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Gel Liner in number one mahogany ink with my Sigma eyeliner brush, the EO5. I'm liking this. It's pretty dirty because I used it yesterday. Um, so anyway, um, I think most of the reason that I ended up getting sick is because we threw this surprise party big surprise party for my grandmother. She turned 80 and my grandfather decided he wanted to throw a big surprise party and um, decided that, you know, it was up to us to take care of, which is fine. Um, it just meant that my mom and I were running around last minute trying to do things. Um, and we, I make custom invitations, wedding invitations that I design and assemble and print all in my home studio. That's what I do um, as my job. Well, I own the business, but so I made the invitations for 80 people. Well, I'll say my mom made them really. Um, I designed them and printed them, and then she spent the greater part of one evening and uh, the next day assembling them while I was working on another order that I had. Um, so that in itself is very stressful when last minute you're trying to get together some invitations, get them in the mail, mailed out to everybody, you know, trying to get addresses. I think we sent out over 80 invitations and I'm happy to say that a, a great amount of people came. There were just about 90 people there, I think, which is incredible. She was surprised. Um, here I go. I'm going to tug on my eye again. Bad me. Um, she was extremely surprised, which was great. 
She did not find out, despite the fact that um, there were many, many opportunities for her to find out, including the people that we hosted the party at. Um, the person who was in charge, I guess their, I don't know, their secretary person, who was in charge of organizing everything on their end, called my grandmother and wanted to know how many people were coming to her party. Luckily, this is a family friend who owned a restaurant that we all went to very, very often. And we're very good friends with my grandparents, still are. Um, and I had made up a dummy invitation, sending it to my grandmother, saying that they were having an event at their new place and that they were inviting my grandparents to come to it. So when they called asking how many people were coming in my grandmother's party, she responded with two. <laughs> thinking how many people are coming to dinner in your party of people. So, um, yeah, that was a bit of a heart-stopping moment at the last minute when we found out that that phone call had been made. Uh, my mom made the cake, which she, um... My mom's one of those people that forever and a day ago when her sister got married, her sister's wedding cake was not what not what they thought they were getting for the money they spent, let's put it that way. And they didn't like it, it wasn't very good, and that day my mom decided to take up baking cakes as a hobby, and then she started making wedding cakes for family, friends, and that sort of thing. She made my wedding cake, it was massive, I mean just huge, and she's great at it, but um, she's getting to the point where it's becoming a lot of work for her, so... I think this is probably the last cake she'll be making. Um, which is kind of sad, but at the same time, um, you know, she's done. It's time for somebody else to decide to make cakes, not me. This girl does not bake cakes very well. And I think the reason is because my mom bakes cakes so well that I always think I'm never going to be able to bake a cake quite as well as she does. Um, but she makes her own icing and own cake and all that fun stuff and I'm crafty in the kitchen but uh, more in the cooking department than the baking department really I guess I do cookies okay <laughs> um, so anyway that was all uh, over the weekend and then I also had a bride that I was doing 250 handmade wedding invitations for and um, I worked my butt off. I started feeling this cold come on. The party was on Saturday. I started feeling the cold come on uh, Sunday afternoon, I guess. And then, um, sorry, I'm going to curl my eyelashes here. Um, I just kind of fought my way through it. It started out with a sore throat and just heavy congestion. And I knew I had a lot of stuff to do, so I kept telling myself I'm not gonna, not gonna let myself be sick, and powered my way through it somehow. And on Wednesday, the bride came to pick up her invitations, and literally the hour that she came is when I started losing my voice. So they always say that if you've got something important to do, your body will let you keep going until you get to the point where it needs you to give up and take a rest. Well, my body let me get to the point of getting the invitations done and that was it. <laughs> um, sorry if I'm going to make some funny faces now. I am using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye, or not Bye Bye, Hello Lashes is what it's called. Um, you can buy this on QVC or at the IT Cosmetics web website. Actually. I don't think it's available on their website. I think it's only available at QVC. Um, I could be wrong. If somebody knows, please tell me. I am probably not going to talk too much because I'm going to make funny faces instead. Isn't that funny how you always do that? You make the funniest faces while you're putting mascara on? And that is what one eye looks like with one coat. And I'm going to do the other side. I was told, see I said I wasn't going to talk. Clearly, I can't stop talking. 
Um, I was told that when you make the funny faces, when you do the, you know, where you move your mouth around the whole time, it's because you're stretching out your muscles to keep your face still. So, um, that's one theory. And I think it's probably true because it's almost like trying to sneeze and not close your eyes. It's near impossible. Unless I'm thinking about it. For me not to make funny faces. While putting on my mascara. So that's that. Um, I'm actually I'm digging through my travel bag right now because I usually take all my favorite stuff with me when I travel. So a lot of my stuff is in there. And I'm actually going to go right back into that Urban Decay color. And just color in my brows just a little bit. My brows are pretty dark on their own. So it just takes the littlest amount. And this is kind of the busy mom way to do it. I'm just using that same brush I had. And really right here is where I have the biggest problem uh, with my eyebrows being just tad sparse right there. But just that amount makes a nice difference. So that is done. The eyes are done. Clean up a little bit. And this is how it looks. Sorry, I make funny faces this way too <laughs> when I'm trying to close my eyes, apparently. Um, and I'm just going to do my under eyes now. I love this stuff. Um, you can pick it up at CVS or Walmart or Target. There aren't really too many Walmarts around me. Mostly Targets. Um, and it's the Garnier Skin Renewing Anti-Dark Circle. What I do is when I put on my foundation, I put my foundation under my eyes too. And um, it clears up and kind of evens out a little bit. So I have killer dark circles. And then a lot of times I will go back in with this. Just the lightest layer. Um, and buff it in. This stuff, by the way is great to use because it's super light when you are trying to, like right after you've washed your face and you just feel like you need something, I will take this little guy, run it under my eyes, buff it in. If I have any blemishes, I will run it over my blemishes and buff it in just like you would a foundation. The rest of my skin, you know, is uh, fairly clear and amazed at how well that works. Um, and that I just feel like is a nice first layer. And then I'm going to go back in with the um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is in the Neutralizer, number 5. I love this stuff too. Some of my favorite drugstore items are these two right here. And again, I just put a little bit all over. And then I'm going to take my Sigma Angled top kabuki brush. This is the F84. Um, and that's what I was using before. And just kind of go back in and pat it in. There we go. And a good little trick to find out if you still have darkness is there's just the littlest bit that I still have. Um, when you look down into a mirror, you can see it. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to look overly cakey. So, I think what I'm going to do is just use... This is this is one of the items I found when I was shopping my stash. I bought it forever ago, so long ago, I guess, that the back of it is completely non-readable. It is a Smashbox concealer, and I don't even know what color it is. But, I'm almost done. That's as much as I have left. And I really like what it does for that area. Um, just right there. I don't know if you can see. Just put it in a really dark spot. And again, I'm going to tap it in using this. I've been trying not to use my fingers so much because I feel like I pull just as much off as I put on. So that's that. Do a little bit on this side. Again, I don't want it to look cakey 
or anything like that. So, you see it helped out pretty well. And for me, that's probably as good as it's going to get. <laughs> so next I'm probably going to, or not probably, I'm definitely going to use my powder flash and just a fluffy brush. This one um, I use all the time with my powder flash, which is why it looks kind of white, is my Rockin' Republic 203. Love this brush. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that under my eyes. And I just take it and kind of put it in the lid and swirl it around a little bit. Tap it. Just, you know, you see it flying everywhere. You don't want that all over your face. So I just take it, run it under, and that's usually enough to set everything pretty well. And that is that. For blush today, I'm going to use um, Tarte Amazonian Clay. And this is in Wonder. Love this color. Love these blushes. You guys hear me talk about them all the time, but I really do love them. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques brush. Mm, blush brush, actually, is what it's called. I use this for all kinds of things, but um, today this is what I'm going to use it. And I just take it kind of on the apples and up. Like that. I have so much to do uh, as far as videos. I have so many videos to do for you guys. Um, I've got my My Glam bag. I actually got a January bag too because one of my awesome subscribers, Gina, Gina if you're watching, thank you so much, um, got a double bag so she sent me her double which was awesome. So I'm going to show you guys that one. I have my February bag too so I'm probably going to do one video and just show you both. Um, and let's see what else do I have I have some stuff that I got from NARS that's kind of a little haul for you guys I have I'm looking over here because it's all sitting here in the packages oh I have my Tarte Glow Your Way to Gorgeous kit that I have not even opened that's how busy and sick I've been um, that I haven't bothered to open it because I wanted to open it with you guys hopefully I will be able to restrain myself and keep up and now I'm going to put a highlighter on and I think for my highlighter, I'm just going to use a little brush. I'm actually going to use, this is my Bobbi Brown eyeshadow brush. It's huge. Like, if you try to put eyeshadow on my eye with this, it's like one sweep and you're done. So, I tend to use it for other things most of the time. And I'm going to use my Laura Mercier highlighter that I love. I'm sad that it is no longer available. But I'm going to use this and just stamp it across my cheek a little bit, blend it out, take it over my brow. You see what that does? As opposed to the other side. Sorry if I'm a little bit washed out here um, today with the lighting. And then I'm going to take it on the other side, blend it out a little bit, and then I take it over the brow as well. Then I'm going to take a little bit and pop it in the inner corner. Can you see that as opposed to the other side? I'll show you on the other side what it looks like. Just kind of blend it in here. See it just lightens up that area. Take it right down the nose, a little bit there, and then just above the cupid's bow. Okay? And that's what I do. Really simple. Love this. If you can find it, I don't even know if it's available anywhere anymore. And then I do one of those things where I just kind of make sure everything's blended out well um, with my fingers. Sometimes I'll go back over with a big kabuki brush or something like that and blend everything together well. And actually today, I'm going to put a little bit of bronzer on, I think. If I can figure out what I did with my bronzer. Oh, there it is. And I'm just going to do it all over with a great big Eco Tools brush. Awesome brush. Love this. I also have still my Balm, the Balm Cosmetics um, haul to show you. Not so much a haul as it is all the products that I've picked up recently. Wow, that looks much heavier in the video. <laughs> 
in the video screen than it does actually in person. Just a little bit of all over color. Make sure you get down on your neck and I even go over my ears. And if for some reason you think that maybe it's a little heavy, like it doesn't look heavy in person, but on the screen it's looking a little low baby. Um, I'll just take a big fluffy brush and go back over with my powder just to even everything out. There we go. It's looking good. Alright, and... As for my lips, I think I'm just going to go with one of my Rez Revlon Color Burst Lip Butters. And in this is Raspberry Pi. Again, kind of a quick color. It is dramatic. No doubt about it. But... I like having that look where you kind of have color it, but not a lot. Sorry, my phone's ringing. <laughs> so I'll go back with a tissue where it looks more like a stain. There you go. I'm kind of blot it into my lips and then I'll go back over with my gloss. Or my lip fusion. Okay, there you go. So that's it. Like I said, I'm going to have some more videos up here soon. I have a giveaway to do um, that's really cool. I have um, a 31 Gifts consultant that sent me a gift for you guys. So I'm going to do that giveaway here shortly. But right now, I'm going to finish doing my hair and get dressed and run to lunch with my husband. And I will be back soon to do some more videos. So bye for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Talk to you soon.